Uh, so it's day two of the National Ploughing Champs here. We're here with the Lely, at the, at the Lely tent and we're here with Brian and Michael. So can you just tell us a bit about where you're based and what your role there? Yeah. So I'm Brian, I'm Centre Manager in Mitchellstown. So we cover the areas of Cork, Kerry and Limerick for Lely. So it's Living Lely Solutions and Automation to Dairy Farms in Cork, Kerry and Limerick. Uh, I'm Michael O'Grady, I'm General Manager in Lely, Kilkenny. So we cover the southeastern region of the country. Yeah. And I suppose weather's dried up a bit now. It's maybe not as it's a bit damp underfoot still, but what are people coming in to see here at the Lely Tent? Or what's on offer? Or what, are you sh what products are you showcasing? So our centrepiece here is our Lely Astronaut A5, which is our making robot. I think most farmers are familiar with that over the live making done through the years. Uh, we also have our feeding robots. So our feeding robots, we have a feed pusher, the Lely Juno feed pusher. We've got the cam calf feeder, and we've got our vector dye feeding system as well. Uh, also, we've got our cleaning robot, so we've got a Discovery Collector, which is a vacuuming robot, and we've got a Discovery 90, which is the one that pushes for static flows. And I suppose all these products are on offer to Irish customers, like these are products that you will can and will see on Irish farms, like there, there's none of the, oh, that's not available here, we're just showing you that we have it kind of. Yeah, so we're also the early adoption phase, I mean, a lot of our technology are widespread in farms at the moment, I think we've got 1,500 making robots in the island of Ireland at the moment, and a similar amount of cleaning robots, and the feeding robots are getting more traction at the moment. So yeah, we're growing every year. So it's not only available here on the Lady Stand, but it's available in farms throughout the country every day. Yeah, and so as Michael, in terms of then the technology in farms, how important is that becoming? Like, how important is it, to, like, taking away maybe the scraping in the morning of the slats or having the information that you can get from the robots? How vital is, are the farmers using this technology finding it? So I suppose if we just summar, summarise what happened yesterday, so I, I put into three words. First thing is labour. Yeah. That came up, every single person that came into the stand is about labour. How, how can they make time or save time? The second thing is about performance. You know, is there a little bit more than to get out of the animals, but in a, in a kind of an economic way? And, and uh, the, 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 the third thing that they're, that they're looking for is a slightly better lifestyle, you know. Doing some of the manual jobs, to take out the repetitive jobs, like having to scrape down um, the, the area around the back of the cubicle, scraping uh, yards, um, milking cows, it's actually a repetitive process, yeah. and the, the robot does it does it great. So, yeah, so really it's about, what we try to do is we try and find a solution that, that works for their farm to help them to get more out of their animals and save time and have a little bit more time for the families. And it sounds euphoric, but that's genuinely what it is. And then in terms of the customers looking at it, are we talking new entrants, are we talking existing farms, or is it a mix of everyone? Yeah, it's, it, it really is a mix of everyone. We cater for the guy that's just taking to get into dairying, and he's going to you know, start off with 70 cows or whatever and, and scale up right through to guys. We actually see ourselves as, as a direct competitor of, of groceries as well. We have a lot of farms with, say, two, 300, 400 cows, and they can't get labour, and they still want to have some kind of a life at weekends. Would that be fair to say, Brian? Yeah, we're, yeah. we're making herds in Ireland from 60 to 300 cows yeah. and plus yeah. in Ireland. So we're a solution for everybody. It, it depends what you're looking to get out of it. If, if you're, as Michael said, if labour's your challenge, we can solve that problem. If you're looking to get more data, more cow information, more cow level data, uh, sensor technologies to help with, um, you know, early identification of health problems, etc., we can do that. For instance, our, our making robot, it takes the temperature of every cow, every milking. So you got real-time live information there on the health of your animals, 365 days a year. So it depends on what challenge you're trying to solve in your farm, but if it's for labour, cow health, efficiency, and lifestyle, which is becoming more and more important. Mm -hmm. People want to spend more time with their families, uh, more time with their children, and people who work on farms, they want to make them better places to work, great places to work. And I think that's something we have to really all focus on agriculture is making it a great place to work in. You know? and, and the kind of word I put on it uh, would be that they're, uh, it's kind of an inter intergenerational investment. So the fathers invest in to make their, their careers as easy as possible when they're finished out, and then the sons then have a, have a better farm to kind of to work on, or daughters, sorry, yeah. to work on. And I suppose, like, is, is a robot suitable for nearly every farm? Like, you hear people maybe say, oh, I'd love to get one, but I don't think my farm's suitable. Like, is, is it possible that, like, with the, with the help yourselves, that robots be installed in every farm in the country, to it. Yeah. So what we do, we take people through a process. So we often get a first inquiry here at the at the plowing. Uh, down at Lely Centre, Mitchellstown, Lely Centre, Kilkenny, Lely Centre, Mullingar. We have a team of people to help most farms convert to automatically making their cows. 
and we do that through a team of farm management support advisors, we have technical support technicians, you know, so it's a real team effort across to get that farm to change a couple of simple processes in that farm to automate the milking process, automate the cleaning process or whatever process they want to automate on that farm. And we do with a team of people, so we go to the farm, we consult with the farmer, what goals, what aims they want to achieve from, from automating, let's say, the milking process of the farm, and we have a team of people to help with the conversion process. Yeah. And I suppose, like, obviously, the showpiece here is the, the A5 robot, but you have the vector feeding system as well. And I suppose that's kind of a system that possibly could also work on a beef finishing system, mm. or, like, it's not just dairy farmers that are probably going to look at inquiries. If you're finishing cattle, there's an opportunity to use a vector there. Yeah, it's the same. So, so both the Juno and the, and the vector are great for, for, for beef units. I, I have a guy who's a, he's got a feed lot. It's about 2,000 animals going through it every year. He's the Juno pushing the feed. He, he reckons he's getting X, X grams more, maybe 150, 200 grams more gain a day per cow, which is pretty phenomenal. And then from a feed saving perspective, from a, from a, a feeding perspective, from a performance perspective, the, the, the vector is, is, is fantastic. Um, they, just need to, they just need to fill the seed feed station probably every two, two to three days, and yeah. then the robot does everything else. And it, it just makes sure that the animals get what they should be getting. It monitors the feed fence to make sure that they're, they're fed at the right sequence as well, Brian. Is that on top we, of that? We have a number of beef farms zone in the, in, in, in the, in the Mitchelton region after converting to the vector system. And they're, they're seeing uh, on dairy breeds uh, fattening uh, live weight gains of 1.6 to 1.7 kilos of live weight gain a day, which is which is phenomenal result from, from a dairy beef animal. So it's it's about delivering the right feed, uh, the right mix, uh, the right quantities at the right time. Yeah. And I suppose just the last very quick question would be around the grazing system. Obviously, we're we model ourselves in a grass-based mm. system, dairy systems. It's like these work very well on a grazing system. Um, we we see them work here all the time, and I suppose is that maybe the worry with a lot of guys who are thinking about it that are my cows going to sue the robot? Yeah. So typically, when we go out on the, on, a, on the first call, we're assessing the farm to see a number of factors like how much grazing block is around the yard, how accessible are the rest of the fields, and we make every more because it's a bespoke it's a bespoke, it's a bespoke design then for that farm, and, and it actually it's not just the yard, it's not just the grazeway. It's, it's, the, it's the grazing platform, it's the integration of the fields, it's the watering system, and they're all little small marginal steps to get the cow to come in on her own. And it, because if she doesn't come in on her own, you might as well still continue to make an apparel. Would that be? Yeah, what we're, what we're trying to do is encourage voluntary movement to the cow to, get, mm. to come to the robot to, get move, to move to a new paddock. Um, and it's, it's all about doing what's best practice for grazing anyway. Mm. You know, going in at the, at the right pre grazing covers, uh, going in at the right time getting good graze outs you know, for the next round of grazing, etc. A lot of it's back practice as well, but I want to emphasise that we, we have a team of farm management support advisors for farmers who maybe don't have, are not confident in measuring grass, not mm. confident in allocating grass, but they're there to support them through that transition phase, you know, to be able to, to, to develop that voluntary movement inside the cow. So again, we have a team in place to, to deal with these challenges that farmers might face with the staff here for the robotics. Look, I want to say thanks a lot for having us, lads, and uh, best luck with the next day.